Swarika, hello, my friends, it's Rajana here. Today I'm going to talk about understanding your pain. I'll show you where we are. This is actually one of my favourite locations. Uh, we come around here, and it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Some trees back there, which is one of my secret places. Very strong, and I had to ask for permission. When you understand the spirits, there are places you've got to ask for permission um, to be accepted. But anyways, understanding your pain. As we sit here today, I think this is one subject that I am pretty much more qualified in, very qualified in. Understanding the pain that I've got, understanding the pain of my daughter, Understanding the pain of a friend. It's all different. And I don't want to get into the judgment of it. But just understanding that everyone feels pain differently. For me, I often cry. I bleed. Bleed from the heart because I'm sensitive. I'm an empath, so I can even cry for other people. And that of another spirit wishes of me, I'll cry the more for them because that is me. But that's another subject for another day. My daughter, as an instance, is completely different. My daughter is able to suppress the pain. Like putting it in a box and putting a lid on it, I'll deal with that later. And that's how she deals with it. The trouble is that box eventually gets filled. And the lock eventually bursts. And then it explodes. What often she does is she will store it away, take time to brew upon it, maybe eventually find a place to herself and put it out into writing, put it out into um, drawings, which she does, poems. And then eventually she'll call me and say, and explode and deal with it, act upon it. Where a sensitive person tends to be more stronger because the pain we feel all the way through a sensitive person um, needs support and when I compare to my daughter um, my daughter can handle the situation at the point of the time but in time it overcomes it's all different. Um, if someone's, uh, I don't know, even more sensitive than me, perhaps there is. Sensitivity is only an emotion. It's only, it's like yin and yang, it's got a positive, it's got a weakness. Sensitivity is. Exactly that, you're sensitive to the spirit, you're sensitive to the things in the atmosphere. But that's not what we're talking about today. Understanding your pain, understanding the way you work. Can you handle a situation in the point of the time? And then later on it hits you. So the pain that you're enduring is often not your pain at that time. Although there may be a trigger, but the bullet came from the gun before. It may have been a situation that has happened last week, but someone said something today, and so you exploded on that point. So you've got to realise that where's the pain coming from? 
Are you a person that deals with a crisis or do you panic in a crisis? Because the crisis itself will show you where your pain and, and whether you deal with it straight away or you can suppress it. Suppressing pain is not always the best because it becomes harder to deal with. Crying, um, being hypersensitive to a pain is not always the best because you can struggle in a situation. But knowing and, un un and understanding the way you deal with pain gives you the strength and the knowledge to overcome and go through. My friends, this is six minutes and this is Arjuna saying, I love you. Look after yourself, my friends.